शुक्रिया भगवान थैंक यू गॉड कैंटनेस प्रूफ ऑम पास्ट एप्रोवेशन आई हैव नाउ वट कांट आई डू ओ बेटा ना यू पास्ट के बी एग्जाम वेर इज द काउंसलिंग बेटा वॉट इज योर रैंक वॉट नो काउंसलिंग नो सेंट्रल मैच बट हाउ विल यू गेट अ सीट जस्ट गो आउट अनप्रिपेयर एंड स्टार्ट लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब टीच योर सन टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर स्पेंड लैक्स ऑफ रुपीज बिग एग्जाम्स क्लियर एंड स्टिल जॉबलेस डू यू इवन नो वेर यू कैन स्टार्ट योर पी जी वेलकम बैक टूडे वे टेक अ डीप डाइव इन टू द जर्मन मेडिकल केयर सिस्टम स्पेशली फॉर रेजिडेंसी और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द फाक आर्ट्स वाइटर बिल्डो so if you are a young doctor looking to do your residency here in germany or are generally curious about the german healthcare system and how it works this video is for you let's learn how to apply for a job in germany in germany finding your residency spot or a post graduation spot is a diy process there is no centralized matching system like in the us of a there is no entrance examination with a pool of seats that you get as a matching process or the counseling session like in india meaning if you're interested then you look for that job online in the preferred department and in the preferred hospital of your choice then you send in your cv and a cover letter then you wait for an interview i would also suggest spending one day preferably a one day hospitation just to see how the department works and if it is a good fit for you also find out the specific requirements for your chosen field these requirements are specifically listed on the chamber of medicine or the ärzte kammer website online but here's the cool part you're not stuck in one specialty meaning you start with one specialty and after 6 months realize this isn't the subject for you well you can leave it and you can start with another specialty in my opinion gives you the freedom to explore and find the best fit for you so you stayed on with me till now i'm assuming you are gaining some value out of this video so why don't you hit the like button that will help me spread my message to more viewers and if you are not still subscribed also hit the subscribe button down below okay without wasting more time let's get back to the content so let's start with the basics of a fakartsweiter bildung Depending on the subject you choose, this process can take anywhere from between 4 to 6 years. Like I've mentioned before, this process and the guidelines and the requirements for each subject are listed online on the Medical Chamber of Medicine or the Ärzte Kammer of the state you registered in. Be sure to check those out before you apply. Now, where all can you train? The training location must be approved as an educational facility. You are trained under a certified Facharzt with the permission and authority to train others also called the weiter bildungs befugnis are you allowed to finish your entire post graduation residency or the fakarts weiter bildung in one clinic well that depends it depends on several factors such as the medical specialties available in that clinic and the procedures it offers to train you in let's say for example you begin your post graduation in internal medicine in a general practice outside of a hospital but then you need experience of at least 6 months to 1 year in an icu which is not available in this general practice so then you rotate in a partner clinic which is a lot bigger it could have 200 beds it could have 400 beds it could be the university clinic with an icu available who are then going to train you with the necessary knowledge you need to work in an icu since it's a hands on experience that means you have to clinically physically rotate into this clinic i would suggest that you look up the requirements of your specialty of choice before you apply for it and then discuss how those requirements are going to be fulfilled during the interview with the department head so besides the classic post graduation or residency or fakarts weiter bildung there are additional points that you can train under they are called Zusatz are called Schwerpunkte or Zusatz Bezeichnungen. They are also available in detail on the website of the Ärzte Kammer of your state. Now let me give you an example. You train in radiology. You train for five years. You complete your Facharzt Weiter Bildung, and then you want to do neuro radiology or Kinder or children radiology. That is a Zusatz Bezeichnung. Let's say that is an additional one year or two years of training, and then you become a neuro radiologist. or a radiologist with schwer punkt neuroradiology those are all over and above your basic training 
called Zusatzbezeichnungen. You will have to learn concrete diagnostic and therapeutic ways of treating patients during your entire Facharzt Weiterbildung. These concrete diagnostic and therapeutic things that you need to learn are written inside a logbook. This logbook will track your entire progress through your Facharzt Weiterbildung or your post-graduation or your residency. This could include the type of operations you've done, if you're into surgery, or the therapies you've initiated, if you're in medicine, and they also include the documentation of regular talks you must have at least once a year with your supervisor or the head of your department. Basically, it is a way to ensure that every doctor who trains in a said specialty is to attain a minimum set standard, all guided by a logbook. Finally, we're at the end of our Fakarzt Weiterbildung or our post-graduation or our residency training. The exam you need to give at the end to then be, become a Fakarzt is called Fakarzt Prüfung. It's the big exam at the end of your training. It's a 30 to 45 minute oral exam. It will test you and cover your entire training process and the knowledge you have up till now gained. And it will be checked by four Fakarzt in your specialty. Basically an oral exam with four Fakarzt sitting on the other side, asking you questions for 30 to 45 minutes. If you pass the exam, you receive a certificate from your state's Ärztekammer and you are now officially a Fakarzt. End of post-graduation. Congratulations. That's a wrap on our discussion on the residency or the post-graduation pathway or the Fakarzt Weiterbildung. If you have any questions, write down in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. That's it. I wish you a good day. Alles Gute.